Good afternoon, traders. It's Bill Baruch with Blue Line Futures, and it's your midday market minute. Got a little weakness out there in the equity markets. This is no surprise to us. We were neutral last week. Our target in the S&P 29.24 was hit. It was close enough before we neutralized. We said you got to watch out going into Wednesday of this week. Not only do you have the U.S. and Canada with trade talks, you have U.S. and China. Not a whole lot in the news and the headlines right now as it is the congressional testimonies of the social media, Twitter, and Facebook. But tech is taking a hit. The S&P is moving lower too. Major three-star support is what we did have against today's low. We, knew, we moved that major three-star support lower in the Morning Express today. Take a look at where it is. We have two layers, and this is where we want to be buying against. However, we did say you can look for a test into this 2875 area. That first test should bring a buy opportunity. Guess what? It did. It bounced about 10 points. But the second test, and we did say the longer it stays here, it should chew through this, given the price action that we saw from late last week and into today, especially yesterday's little bit of a push and then a bounce uh, into a bit of a no man's land. It weakened this bigger support level. So we are looking for major, major three-star support below this, this support area here at 2875. Uh, now moving on to crude oil, we did say yesterday in the Morning Express, don't chase price action. And that tail left a bit, I mean, that, that was a big tail left in the market yesterday. You can't really just get and just press that now on today, especially with inventories coming into the headlines. You want to take a step back. We do a major three-star support below the market. It's a big level. It was a big level on the way up. Check it out in the Morning Express. Give us a call if you have any questions about it. You can buy the first test there today, but again, you're going into the API crude oil report after the bell today, and then to the EIA tomorrow. So you want to manage your risk properly. And then lastly, gold and the bonds. They're starting to show a little bit of support here. Um, Overall, is it a safe haven move across the board here with equities weaker? Not sure yet, but ultimately gold is holding much better than uh, what we saw silver and copper yesterday. And it is testing resistance at 1204. We want to get a close back above 1204 in gold in order to neutralize this weakness here that we started to see since later part of last week. Uh, really, though, the line of sand has now become 1220. Then move above that high from last week to start squeezing the shorts. That will put pressure on them. Give us a call. We're here to talk about anything on the board. 312-278-0500. You can email us info at bluelinefutures.com. You can check our website for updates, and you can sign up for a free trial of research there. But remember, futures trading involves substantial risk of loss. It is not suitable for all investors. Thank you.